Carrie Underwood dazzles in red sequin dress as she performs at the Opry for first time following accident. It's been 10 years since she became part of the Opry family in Nashville. And on Friday, Carrie Underwood took the famous country music stage for an anniversary performance of her career hits. This marks her first return to the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville since a November 2017 fall in her home, which required 40 stitches to her face. Carrie dazzled in a long sleeve, sparkling gown that featured red and black sequins against a sheer overlay. The blonde beauty wore her long, blonde locks down and in cascading waves. Carrie modeled her go-to makeup look, which featured a smoky eye and a pink nude lip. Joining the star for her big day was country legend Randy Travis. It was the 59-year-old who first invited Carrie to become part of the Opry family in March 2008, despite having first taken the stage in June 2005, after her American Idol win. The star was gifted a beautiful bouquet of roses by Garth Brooks and was treated to a two-tiered, pink and gold cake to celebrate her achievement. The mother of one took to Instagram to show her heartfelt gratitude. What an incredible night celebrating 10 years of being in this amazing at Opry family, she began. Thank you, hashtag Randy Travis for always being so sweet to me. Thanks, at Garth Brooks for the flowers. Thanks at Brad Paisley hashtag Crystal Gay Lad Vincegil Law Official and at Reba for the kind words and messages. A special thanks to my Opry family and all the people on my team for the wonderful surprises. Thank you, fans, for all the love and support you have always given and continue to give. And, last, but not least, thank you to the Baloney Lady and my Umgnishville family for being here to celebrate. My heart is full. Carrie's performance comes after the star suffered a fall in November. In an address to her fan club, in comments shared by people, the star gave some insight into her slip down the stairs in her home. There is also another part of the story that I haven't been ready to talk about since I have still been living it and there has been much uncertainty as to how things will end up. It's crazy how a freak random accident can change your life. In addition to breaking my wrist. I somehow managed to injure my face as well. I'll spare you the gruesome details, but when I came out of surgery the night of my fall, the doctor told, her husband, Mike that he had put between 40 and 50 stitches in.